Hello, I'm from the British government with a message to the nation. As it clings like a desperate turd to the edge of the shitter, our strong and stable hand on the flush. We know many of you are facing uncertainty, like the uncertainty of who the fuck is in charge here during this cost of living crisis. Now that this sentient ham is no longer PM. Sure, you were probably wondering that when the pissed Merkin was the PM. His main feats being to flout his own COVID laws, hand out lucrative contracts to our donors, and get a shit ton of you killed. But don't worry. Soon we'll announce the new PM to assume those crucial roles. Either this stunned mullet who's been specially trained to utter populist wank. We're producing more varieties of cheese than the French. <laughs> or this harrowing twat who boasts of stealing money from the poor. So both well qualified for the job. And when we announce the winner, we'd like you all to pretend this is a brand new government. Not the exact same one that's fucked you sideways into a full-blown state of social, economic and ecological collapse. Because nothing says a brighter, more secure future than plummeting wages, soaring inflation, poverty, hunger, food banks, a collapsing health system, under-resourced rescue services, cities on fire, dying rivers, drought, crop failures, overflowing sewage and polio. Tories. Tories. With a government like us, who needs terror? As things fall apart, we ask you to keep calm and carry on, being reamed in the ass by the skyrocketing energy prices we've done nothing to protect you from. Remember how during the last energy crisis our pig fucker in chief rolled back insulation and renewable schemes? Well, cutting the green crap has added billions to your energy bills. Look. Have we made mistakes? Maybe. But have we learned from them? Of course not. That's why, as we face another energy price crisis today, we're once again proposing to roll back green levies and renewable schemes. Sure, that would further increase our dependence on gas, which is what's causing this crisis, but at least it'll distract from how we have absolutely no plan to keep millions of you warm this winter. What might help is taxing these bastards more, or renationalizing these ones. But why do that when we can just let you book yourself into your nearest warm bank? British, British government. government. You're on your own, dickheads. Whatever you do during this void of leadership, please don't take matters into your own hands. Like going on strike to demand a pay rise in line with inflation. Or joining a union. Get back to work, Amazon slaves. Civil disobedience scares the shit out of us and is why both assholes vying to be the next PM have promised to ban strikes. Most importantly, do not sign up to this campaign, where people are pledging to cancel their direct debit if we let energy prices rise further. Remember that time millions of you refused to pay the poll tax and you brought down this government? Thank you very much. Goodbye. We wouldn't want to have that again, would we? Because, you see, your masters have not heard the people's voice for a generation, and it is much, much louder than we care to remember. Now get back to work, Britain. Our tax havens and free ports aren't going to pay for themselves, you pieces of shit. God save the Queen. Authorised by Scott Morrison, Minister for Everything Everywhere.